Okay guys, I don't know how this is going to work. This is a by request video. Yeah, it's the EQ Chinese heads. Unfortunately, they kept me up last night because I was so unhappy about how they performed after 500 thousandths lift. I decided to come out on a Sunday and give that pinch some more area. I didn't push my luck. The This side is still at least a hundred thousandths thick everywhere so if it ever had a backfire it'll be fine it is still narrower at the roof than it is at the bottom and it's designed that way for a reason uh, even though it has more area at the bottom it still has higher speeds at the bottom could I expand it more yeah there's plenty of metal on the middle on the middle wall I could make it bigger. Somebody wanted me to try to demonstrate what it sounds like on the bench. I have it set up at 400 lift right now, not that you can tell. I will do I will do it at 400 lift. And then you will we'll take a look. You know what? I have to turn off the light. Let me turn off the light. I have to turn off the light so I don't get glare on the screen. I will do it at 400, I'll show you, and then I will make it 500, we'll show you. We'll make it 600, we'll show you. Okay? And then, at 600 I'll spray the dicum. I'll see if I can show you guys how I do the dicum. It's not going to be easy with one hand, but we're going to give it a whirl. Okay, we're all set up. Four. We're set up at four hundred thousandths. Okay guys, you can see how it uh, it lost it over the short side a little after 500 thousandths. It's much more stable at 500 thousandths than it was. All right, we had uh, around 274 or 500 thousandths, which is not a bad number. I would like to do the exact same thing, but we're going to uh, we're going to try this long string and see what we can see. We may not be able to see much because I don't really have an extra light to, to show you what guys on this. Let me see what I can do with lighting. Hold on. Okay, I have the light set up. Hopefully we'll be able to see something. It's it's not going to be easy, but if I keep the camera low like this, maybe we can see what's going on. Obviously with the light being here, it will change how the air flows through the port. But let's give it a try. We're back at 400. Let's give it a whirl.
Okay, as far as the string test, I couldn't get anything conclusive off of that. The only thing I could see, and I don't know if you guys could see, is before it lost it with separation over the short side, the string was getting pulled down right in front of the short side. Whereas afterwards it was not getting pulled down as straight. Which makes sense. Okay, let's see if I can show you an angle. I've got it set for 600 lift. I need to be right about here, I think. And I'm going to show you how I spray the dicum. I only give it a short, give it a good shake before. And what I do is I, I try to start right here. I actually aim the nozzle at here, maybe, maybe about a foot away, something like this. And I aim right for here, and I try to go around. I aim right at the edge. And the, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get all four corners of the port to see where what the dicum is doing as far as the entire periphery of this opening, right? All right, let's uh, let's see how bad this is going to be. Okay, you can see we got some on the floor, we got some on the wall, we got some on the guide. Might as well pull this head and take a look at it. I'm not sure if we'll stay paused long enough. Take a look. Okay, so basically the only thing that's different is I gave a pinch, some more area, and I actually did two flow tests. I should show you these because they're... They're a little interesting. <sighs> I don't even know where the other numbers are, but in any case, it looks like we lost a little bit everywhere. See, I used, first time I did, I gave it more area, but I left the curved pushrod side with a rough texture, okay? So we're basically down everywhere, except I think we topped out a touch better, okay? It did change our swirl curve a little bit. And at that point, it dropped to like 250, and I'm, I was done. So then I said, while it was on the bench, no less, I closed the valve, I took my grinder out, and I gave it a quick pinch polish to see if there would be any difference. Because I've done this experiment before, and especially when you have a pinch that's this fast. This, fa this pinch has like 400 feet per second on the curve side. It's crazy how fast it is, right? So you change you change it and what happens? Well, went down, down, up, up, down, up, up, up. A good size hit up here. Okay? And then it was down again. So is it worth doing? Well, that's a good question. I don't even know. As far as our our air speeds, they're still fast. Even though I gave it more area, still fast. Roof really didn't change much. Short side is still fast. Fairly even, but still too fast. Okay, now it was... I measured that at... A uh, half inch lift was flowing 277 at the time. So we're getting a lot of air through it. Okay, so you guys saw me spray the dicum this time. We are nice and wide. We still got our splatter on our chamber. We have splatter all the way around. We've got some on the other side of the guide. Looks great. Last video I showed this and called it the exhaust valve. It's not the exhaust valve, it's the intake valve. You can tell because it has a back cut and it has blue on it. Take a look at how far brown the blue went.
okay? I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. Another shot of the exhaust valve, just like it came out of the package. It's not getting a back cut, okay? If I wanted to be a wise guy, I might radius the face. That's a DV trick. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't, okay? Okay, right down its throat, she looks pretty darn good. All right, guys, so, like I said, it was keeping me up last night about it losing it on, on the short side. The only other thing I can think of is I can give the short side more, more area, which is a pain because i got to do it to all eight. I could lay it back a touch more. But uh, it's fairly strong in, in the lower lifts, and I'd like to keep it that way. Let me know if I need to do any more work on these. This is uh, the 10th cut. Ouch. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully this video answered some questions. Oh, let me show you the bore. I almost forgot again. All right. I'm glad I remembered the bore because... I'm not a liquid flow expert, but damn, I think that is killing it. Maybe somebody that has more uh, dyno experience than me would know whether we should even worry about it over 500 lift. That's an interesting question to pose to the guys that know. Me, it bothers me. I would like to see it flowing smoothly throughout our entire lift range. Okay, Obviously, on a running engine, it's going to be different. It may separate at 300 lift. I don't know. <laughs> it reminds me of something DV said once. He's like, don't worry about that noise on the bench. What that noise is doing is it's mixing the fuel. I'm going to leave that thought with you at the, uh, at the end of this short and easy video to make. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.